make all most it seems like all the text on his page but if you notice on the video the person has a third arm somehow but the image all the images on his website are ai generated images and you know, his campaign is just using a hundred percent ai now the there's one image of a police officer but if you don't play if you you see where it, she, the woman has her arms crossed, but then there's another arm that has a plaid long sleeve <laughs> that... <laughs> he knows. Look at him. He knows. I, I, and I'll say this. If you look closely, it doesn't look real, mm -hmm. but it's really close. It's really close. A little further down the page, there's, a, there's an image of a police officer in a subway station and it looks like that one looks like art it doesn't look like a photograph it it looks like a video game yeah it looks like a video game like a really really good current gen video game and the thing is that he was he's using this for his campaign but Again, instead of using paying someone out to go and take photos. Again, stock photography. Let's be honest. Most of these are going to be yeah. stock photography. Not, yeah. Nobody's going out and seeking this kind of stuff unless it's right. very specific that they need. But instead of doing that, they're just using AI generated to be very specific for him. Because mm -hmm. he can use. Now, I'm surprised he didn't get in trouble for this always because you notice it didn't just say police. There was a Toronto police patch on the guy's arm mm -hmm. or on the on the character's arm. Because it wasn't just generic police, but he wanted to show it was Toronto police. That would, I think that would cause an issue. And there were other images that in the past they've you, you campaigns have used images that would, you can tell their dramatizations. They were done like the, the, the home, the, the homeless people on the street there. Again, it looks like a video game. See, I, and it's got this mayoral campaign thing in the corner. And I would think if you put like, your mayoral campaign logo on something, it would be images of hope right like, yeah. so and so for mayor this is what i'm going to do for you or other than so and so for mayor this is what my future looks like is what how right. i'm interpreting these photos because well, the other one is like a right. like a bunch of homeless you know, i just i just showed the pictures uh while you're chatting there a bunch of tents in a park you know, with the, with the, i presume the toronto skyline in the background and these all look super stylized right they do not look yeah. like photography so and, and another one's just like people along the streets just homeless along the streets uh, somewhere in town, uh, somewhere presumably in Toronto. Um, so that's uh, reclaim Toronto parks by removing drug and violence for attending campaigns, step up police, things like that. You know, pretty pretty standard stuff. I, I think you're going to see more of this. And we we already have an issue with news programs framing certain photography and video. 